Good evening. It is time. Bonus stream tonight. Last night got off to a late start, so I wanted to make up for it with a little bit of a little bit of extra gameplay. So welcome. Um, whole reason why I put up this starting soon thing here because I can't find my phone. <laughs> Okay, jungle, we doing this. We really out here doing this. Objectives are to destroy the drone guns, eliminate Zinnia, blow up ammo dump, and escort Natalia to Janus base. All right. See what we can do. Cuban jungle. Oh. Boy, this is dork. Yeah, Crunchy, you can sup now. Also, welcome back to the stream. Always awesome to see you. Uh. <laughs> she says, gotta get on your computer. There's the, there's the first gun. Got it. You know, yeah, it has been a while. I, I took a little bit, took a little bit of time off from streaming while I went on uh, a Christmas holiday. Um... But, you know, I hadn't been streaming since then, and then uh, I came back. Thanks! Thanks, Crunchy. I uh, appreciate that. I know there's some armor over here, right? Yeah, here it is. I was so excited. It was so, it was really gratifying just to, to come back. I got GoldenEye for Christmas. Like a, like a kid again, getting an N64 game for Christmas. Um... And I was so excited to play it. And like the day I the day I came back, I, I got uh, I got invited to the affiliate program. So just very gratifying, you know. Dogs being a cantankerous pup. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, it's so cool. I got Banjo Tui for Christmas as well. Getting on the computer. All right, no problem. Good grief, man. I could just let Natalia do all the shooting. There go. This level's all about taking it slow. You could rush in if you wanted to, but you would die because of the, the gun emplacements. There's more armor over here, I think. Yeah. What armor do I have? I think I have, like, full armor, right? Yeah. Even with the zoom, I can't see anything. Hardly. Oop. He does. Good timing, Natalia. Jeez. I can barely see it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Barely there. It's. <laughs> I have so many things. I kind of like the ambience. There's the bridge. Yo, thank you so much for the sub, Crunchy. That's awesome. I wish I had some 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 stuff to go up on the screen right now, but I haven't uh, I haven't figured out how to set that up yet. But thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Turn around, Natalia. We're we cheesing this. We ain't cheesing it. I thought she would stop moving if I shot at her, but she didn't.
Oh, that's neat. You get a little you get a little badge next to your uh, thing saying you're the first the first one. I just uploaded some some custom sub uh, sub badges today, like right before I started streaming. I they might have to go through like an approval process before they show up, but. Uh, Oh, you saw them? Awesome. Yeah, the same person that made uh, my channel art made them. I'm really, I'm really pleased with them. This is not going well. There we go. Better. A little bit, little bit of a sloppy start. But we got some armor here, so we'll be all right. Well, I was, I'm, I'm really glad you were the first of hopefully many, Crunchy. Very fitting. Deal. Natalia, why are you commenting on the plants? <laughs> you hope so too, thank you. I really appreciate it. Tell that's the other gun. What are you playing tennis? Tennis! <laughs> tennis. <laughs> oh yeah, and I just got a new uh, capture card the other day. Um, crunchy. Actually, the other day. I mean yesterday. So I can finally start using OBS, which I feel like is better than XSplit. Nice, uh, mostly because it's uh, free <laughs> and doesn't limit its features behind a paywall. Don't get me wrong, XSplit is, is a decent program. There's nothing wrong with it. And if, a pr and if an individual has the money, uh, then there's nothing wrong with paying for it. I just uh, have other things, other monthly subscriptions that I need to be subscribed to instead. Or I don't remember, I don't remember if it's a monthly subscription or like a one-time thing for three months or something like that. I don't have any uh, emotes for you to use right now, Crunchy. Not yet. Um, I'm working on one right now. Uh, 
that is of one of my dogs because he loves to bork in the middle of my streams. So I'm trying to make one of him barking. <laughs> I'm excited for it. I have zero Photoshop skill, so uh, it's taking me a little bit to kind of learn how to use the program and make it look decent. I think the bridge is here. Yeah, that's the bridge. It's a hard program to use, I, and I used to know, but whoops, forgot it all. Yeah, I use, so I actually use GIMP, which uh, I know, I know the name. <laughs> it's a funny name, uh, but it uh, it's like, yeah. I have no idea where she's at. Did I kill her? I didn't kill her. Now I kill her. I, I killed her through a plume of smoke. Yeah, get, that's what I'm using is GIMP, because also because it's free, looping back to the XSplit uh, conversation. <laughs> cave coming up if I remember correctly. Yeah, like you gotta be able you, you gotta be like making a living off of Photoshop essentially to justify paying for it. Same with like the Adobe like like Illustrator and stuff, like the other Adobe programs. Yeah, subscription stuff is just the way of the world nowadays as much as it sucks. kind of firing blindly into this cave. I know there's enemies here, I just can't see them. Natalia can see them through the rock, apparently. guy I killed over here. But I don't know where his gun went, and I want it. Oh well. Yeah, I was saying earlier, um, the, uh, the other game I got for Christmas was, uh, it was Banjo-Tooie. Um, so I'm really excited to play that. And I have to play Banjo-Kazooie before I play Banjo-Tooie. But, last night, uh, I got an email from a dude... Uh, I died, that's fine. I got an email from a dude selling Banjo-Kazooie, an authentic Banjo-Kazooie cartridge, 
uh, with the strategy guide, which, like, I don't need the strategy guide. I've 100%ed Banjo-Kazooie millions of times. But the collectors, you know, like, the collector in me. Like, Banjo-Kazooie is hands down my favorite N64 game. I know, hot take, unique opinion. But, <laughs> but uh, without a doubt, like, I, I gotta have it. Dude emailed me with a really good offer for that, and uh, and the and I, like I just had to take it, so I bought it. Uh, I have no idea when it's getting here. I think like towards the end of the month, but uh, I'm excited for it. That's gonna be one of the next games to play. I, I don't know that I'm gonna play it right away, like right after Goldeneye. I want to give the heavy hitter games uh, some time in between. I think I've said this before a while ago, like, I don't want to play all the really awesome games all right away, because then I would just front load myself with good games, and I know I wouldn't want to, you know, complete my mission of playing every N64 game, because then I would just have crappy games left over. Yeah, like, I still have, like, two dozen sports games I have to get through. <laughs> like... Doing, man, I need to get good. Didn't mean to press that button. But yeah, definitely. Banjo Kazooie is coming up, you know, in a, in a, in a little bit, like maybe in a week or two, uh, a week or week and a half or so. I almost said a week or two, but I don't think I can wait that long. <laughs> I gotta be so I'm gonna be so excited to play it. Technically, I could play it now if I wanted to play it on the Xbox because I have it, but I want to play the original format, you know, in all of its glorious crust. Also, I'm going to buy the cartridge, so I may as well use it, right? <laughs> like, it's not sealed in box. So, what's the point of if I don't play it? I'm not really worried about taking hits right now, because I have the other piece of armor I could pick up. Exactly, just to collect dust on a shelf, may as well use it. May as well use it a little bit before it collects dust on a shelf. I want to try to get a, uh, and Banjo-Kazooie is probably going to be the only game I really go all out for because it's such, like, so much of a favorite game of mine. I want to try to find a, a, an original box to Banjo-Kazooie in, like, the manual. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. It's so good. Like, it does everything right. It's 
Spyro 2, yes. I, or Spyro as well, although Spyro 2 is also a good game. <laughs> I, uh, a while ago, I, I 100%ed all three Spyro games on the HD collection. Um, because they're just, they're just so good. I have a, um, it is so, it is so the best game to chill to. It's got such good music, uh, and the gameplay is just top notch. Such a colorful, nice looking game. Like even, even with the PS1 crust, it's still a decent looking game. And then like even more so with the HD collection. Like my God, they did such a good good job on it. Right, this is the bridge. I I can never remember if there's any people on the bridge. Come on. Come on. I actually have to get off the bridge. How far do I have to go? What the hell? I'm trying to get Zenia to spawn so I can run back and cheese her. There she is. Good job, Natalia. Holy crap. Oh, can't forget about that. I don't think there are any enemies here until I get to the cave. Yeah. Never played this game or seen it at all. I know nothing about 007 other than this is an N64 staple, and I'm sitting here thinking, how do you play a game like this on an N64 controller? Uh, have you? Very good question. Uh, it. What the hell? Uh, it was not easy as a kid because it's not smooth. The N64 controller does not control very smoothly. Um, but. You make do. You get you get used to it. I'm playing with. Or have you ever played Turok? Because uh, Turok's controls are actually a pretty smart way of doing a first-person shooter on the N64. Uh, yeah. So you know the the C buttons move you up, uh, forward, backwards, left, left. I almost said leftwards. Forwards, backwards, left, and right. Uh, there's a control scheme you could use for this game that uses this, that kind of does the same thing. Um, <laughs> left words, uh, and that's what I'm doing. But it's not on by default. The default controls is that moving forward, backwards, left, and right um, with it does with the control stick but this is with the control stick now and it's much smoother than if i were to try to look with the c buttons
I'm surprised that I didn't get hit. Yeah, it's pretty jank. Oh, what? What? <laughs> that was some martyrdom shit. I'm behind a yucca plant. There's a third guy. Where did he die? There he is. Or there's there's his gun, I should say. That's what I was looking for. Is that a yucca plant? I used to know a lot about plants. Now I'm getting distracted by plants. Oh, I destroyed the turret. Plants are good, man. Isn't that right, Becca? Plants are good. No, turrets are not good. <laughs> Me playing Seven Days to Die and drinking yucca juice. Yeah. <laughs> Plants are good. It's like, like cavemen just like sitting around. Plants are good. That's the thing, man. Like people, people imagine cavemen doing nothing but like eating like meat. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm sure they did that. Like people always say like cavemen are obsessed with like meat, but like, you know, you know, they like. They go all in for some plants. Like, how did they not, you know? We we, we would have gone extinct had they not went hard in the plant, you know? Uh, they're proto-human. I mean, maybe they did. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you trying to red pill me about about cavemen playing? No, I know. That's just what I think of when I hear devil's advocate nowadays. They discovered weed, probably, and how could you not say plant good? Exactly. They said, plant are good. And then they said, plant make other good. Ah! Okay, Natalia, that's enough. He's dead. <laughs> Plant inside home, make brain feel complete. That sweet, sweet, good, good dopamine. Oh, hush, you sassy boy. 
Don't give me no sass. I don't know if you could hear him or not, but my... The same dog I was talking about that I'm going to make an emote of gives me sass. <laughs> You're all for that sass. Yeah, maybe I should uh, turn down my, like, decrease my noise gate so you guys could hear them sometimes. Well, I'm sure not everyone wants to hear a dog barking on stream. When he he was just growling just then, because he thinks he's he thinks he's hot shit. When he's not, you tiny little cloud. Little cloud boy. One of these days I'll remember that I have a Twitter, and then I'll post a picture of the boys. from Rust. I remember Drew from Rusty got so mad at me once for having open mic and hearing my dog bark. I don't... Uh... That's true. I think he did... Like, he did disappear, didn't he? Uh... Um... I'm still friends with Browse. Uh... On... On, uh... Facebook. But I think that's it. Or was that Drew? I don't I don't remember who was who. <laughs> Come on, Natalia. Get wrecked. Yeah. I'm on Facebook too much, to be honest. I need to, like, not. Yeah, Browse is cool. He's chill. Not too long ago, I got a, uh... You know how Facebook sometimes does, it's like, remember this thing? Like, remember this post? I got one of those moments uh, from when we made the first um, sign in Rust as a group. Yeah, it was a good memory. Man, I keep forgetting how long ago that was, though. Man. I was still living in Arkansas. It was like almost five years ago. Yeah. Yeah, 2016. Oh, I live in the in the east, like the northeast now. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I if you're if you're still in the same area that I uh, remember, then yeah, that's we, we're not too far from each other. I'm not quite that north though.
No grenades this time. Natalia! I almost just shot her twice. In the head. W Natalia, we're in a cave. She just cleared this room out for me. I'm cool with that. Actually walk in front of you and saying, ow, watch where you're shooting. Yeah, really. A la Star Fox 64. I think after GoldenEye, I'm going to do another marathon. I don't know of what games yet. I need to figure that out. I haven't looked at my game grid in quite some time. All the guns are dead. Where'd you come from, Natalia? I almost shot you again. Ah. This part, I think, is when I just need to start running. No! No! Let me through! Let me in! Let me in! Yes! Alright! Whew! Jungle down! Oh, that's good. That is some good stuff, man. Oh, you're welcome, Olivia. Uh oh, I didn't read. I didn't read my. Uh, I didn't read my objectives.
This level is awful. It's only the beginning. <laughs> oh no. I, uh... You, you came in at just the perfect timing, Olivia. I just finished the jungle level. Remember in the end, you have to protect Natasha, which is programming a computer. Oh no! I didn't know that. I like the music for this level. It's so funky. We have to shoot about 30 soldiers around the fort Earth directions to shoot her. Good grief. This turret, man. My shoulder shooting you on your back. Got it. Where am I getting shot from? Right there. locked. Oh, hi. Oh, right. Okay, now that I've secured the... Uh, this, I, this part I remember. No, Natalia, that did not go well. This, this run is just going to be a primer. Got one open, head for the control room, James. I'll do what I can from here. Okay. It's unbelievable to notice that these old games are always very popular in those games. Most players in the actual other games of the same category. Yeah, it's true, man. There's a lot of enemies in that room. Oh, that's a grenade! Yeah, uh, I, uh, the music is great. And I'm dead. <laughs> Dude, they were ready for me. And <laughs> they shot and killed me and then threw a grenade at me. Wow. They were not happy. I love the the elevator music. They were just so mad from seeing you, yeah. So dramatic. Uh. Going to bed because I have to wake up at six hours in the morning. Oh, goodness. All right, no problem. Thanks for stopping by, Olivia.
you would like to stay longer. That's okay. Today was a today was a um, a bonus stream, anyways. I'll be back on again tomorrow. Not that I'm getting off right now. Just letting you know. Oh, hey, what's up, Crystal? Roommate and you are listening on as you cook dinner. Awesome. What are you guys cooking? This gun has stupid good uh, accuracy. Oh, there's two more guys. Those guys weren't there before. That guy was there before, but I forgot about him. I have no I have no excuse for him. The the beginning of this level did not go so well. Thank you, Natalia. I agree. I actually have to go over and hear her talk, though. I didn't even... I was not paying attention to when she said that she got one of the doors open. My bad. Wow. All right, I gotta I gotta watch out for grenades. Ready. Oh, there's another one over there.
There's got to be a better way to do this. Yeah, that... Hmm. Let me, let me look at something. Nineties video game hard. Yes. Yes it is. Let me just check this out. I feel like if I could get through the first part with very little damage done. I didn't like that. Okay. All right, okay, good start, kind of. I only got hit once. No, I can cheese this one. There's that guy there. Okay, I'm better off than what I was before. You know, growth. Games, you're hurt. Yeah, yeah. Gotta listen very closely for the tink tink of a grenade hitting the ground. I don't see it, that is. That was close. Tink tink, that was me, not the grenade. <laughs> I can't see anything out the, through this all all this smoke.
I don't think I have to go through here. What are my objectives? I, I forgot already. I've been focusing too much on... I just have to protect Natalia, disable the GoldenEye satellite, and destroy the armored mainframes. Okay. That can't be that hard. Famous last words. Ooh. Remote mines. Those will come in handy when I just have to destroy the armored mainframe. Hello. Who else, huh? A when pass only. Well, I have the steak sauce. There's Boris. Yeah, yeah, you're the one that killed me. Or almost got me killed. Okay, bye. <laughs> I just turn around and... There's a gun on the floor? I, I thought he dropped a grenade. Oh, no. Wow. I don't... I didn't... I don't know if I wanted to do that. Yep, I did not want to do that. Well! I'm not trying to get shot. But I also don't really know what else to do. Dead? Yeah, she's dead. And solo. That's okay.
Hang on, I'm just looking at something real quick. Watching some dude do this level real quick. Talk to my mom on the phone, and all of a sudden, I have a cat taking up my entire mouse pad. How dare it, first of all. his now yep that's it you you don't have a mouse pad anymore sorry about that i just wanted to take a look and see what to do for this level just kind of help me out speed things up a little bit Did I just manage to get through that without taking any damage? Dude, if I could save state... James, you are wonderful. Yeah, yeah.
Really? Thank you, Natalia. change headphones. Using, I was using my computer as my audio for my audio for the game from OBS, but I found out that if I stream for too long, the audio becomes desynced from my video. So I'm just not gonna use it. Little D and Poodle Dumb just come running out from around the corner there. What a ridiculous boy. Aha, I am invincible. You know, in the movie, you say that just before getting frozen by liquid nitrogen, right? These are the mainframes I need to destroy. Lot of enemies.
not good. Hope I'm not taking another hit. I don't think I'm actually hitting it. There we go. Question is, is there only five? If I blow them up now, I'd be penalized. There are not only five. There are more than five mainframes. I gotta find the other ones. Okay. Still have a little bit of armor left, so that's not bad. I guess at this point, I just let loose the hounds. open the lemon pepper one. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't need all of it. There's still plenty left. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry.
use the type. Where am I getting shot from? Throw a grenade. Yeah, that was. Hmm. So, whoa, crunchy. I just realized. Um, if you're still in the chat. Shit, man, you subscribed for six months in advance. Thank you so much. Uh, my OBS, um, uh, little, my OBS window that I have pulled up, uh, didn't tell me that. But when I switched over to my stream manager on Twitch, on like on the actual Twitch website, I, I just saw that. That's awesome. Back up, I ain't done. Restart. I wanted to I wanted to get through that first part without taking damage, because I know I can, you know? I'm gonna do probably one or two more attempts at this and then have to call it a night. I really only expected to get through, uh, that doesn't count. I really only expected to get through the jungle tonight, but I made a lot more progress than I thought I did. Or than I thought it would, I should say. I mean, it, I guess technically not a lot of progress, considering I'm, I only beat one level. But I expected to take longer on the jungle than I did, I should say that. Help if I didn't just stand in place.
great when enemies crouch down in front of me because I'm already aiming at their torso by default. When they crouch down, they just put their head where their torso was. Uh-huh, blast door is great. Uh-huh, let's go. Can you open up the other blast door? Please, please, please. Thank you. for the smoke to clear. I can't I can't see anything. Damn it. It's all right. I only took one hit. Grab this body armor. And go through here. Go back down. Start chucking mines. Start hucking them everywhere. I don't know why I thought of that just now. I'm hungry. I don't know. Well, that's stupid.
You dead yet? Oh, many times. Many, many times, Ted. How's it going, man? Uh, oh, the last part, of course. Defending Natalia. Welcome to the chat, Cranrot. I don't think I've seen you around. close. Yeah, Mr. Ted's been in the chat for a few days now. He's pretty cool. He's helped me out a lot with this game. the objective. Yeah, I know. I need to get down. Oh, shit. There's another guy in here. Oh, okay. 
to the other previously locked door. Shit. Can I not get through these doors? That's where Natalia went, so I thought that's where I was supposed to go. Damn it! I should have went for the uh, for the body armor, like you said. I didn't know it was there. All right, now I know. That went relatively smoothly. That's the first time I've successfully protected her, yeah. With these? Okay, cool. Like, I can pretty consistently get through this part of the mission without taking very much damage, if any. It's just getting to the point of, uh, of protecting her. That's what's, that's what, uh, kills me, literally. Stupid. There's six flame phrase you blow five of them before protecting the alien, right? I can show you how to blow up all six and complete that objective before protecting them. I can also show you how to the body armor room behind the locked blue door, which is path to exit in the mission. Okay. Awesome. I'll have to keep that in mind then. There's a locked blue door next to where you see board. Okay, so it's on the other, the opposite blue door, basically. I'm about to pass it on your left. So this one right here.
kind of luring, try, trying to lure the guys. I almost missed that uh, mine. Not that it would have mattered. It would have blown up anyways. track of what I was doing. Oh, right. What? The dudes died from the explosion on the uh, turret. Damn it. in the wrong button. I might take a look at those, yeah. Thanks for the tip. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do without those, though. Oh, that guy must have ran out. Okay.
Well, this isn't good. Damn it. How did I run out of ammo so quickly? What the hell? How many pot shots? Like restarting. We're just going to run with it. Interesting. I just watch those videos. I'll have to try that out. That's actually not a bad idea. grenades and eight corridors. Ah. Now I gotta sit here and wait for the grenades to go away for the smoke. Hmm. 
Dude dropped a grenade. Thank you. Picked up two grenades. Maybe those will come in handy. Why am I looking back here? I know there's nothing back there. That was the mines. Well, there's one mainframe. <laughs> no, it didn't even kill the mainframe. Wow. I'm so used to the mines being just after the um the D5K. <laughs> so I I just threw it thinking it was the mines. I'm glad I caught myself and ran away. Honestly, I don't know if I can pull that off. Um, uh, I'm not gonna try to do the the other mainframe, but I'll do I'll do this here. I 
don't think that worked. I don't know. I'll save myself a, uh... Pretty sure that first nade disappeared. Weird. I knew what you meant. Throw a grenade against the door now? Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. I, I'm not confident in myself and to be able to pull off that other one. The other mine throw, so... Uh... Natalia? Okay, good. I was like, if it got soft locked, I swear to God. I just wish I could see better. shooting from. Natalia, do you think you could work a little faster? Oh, she's dead. Guy, the guys with the hats shoot you, the guys without the hats shoot her. Wow. Huh. I'm gonna have one more attempt. myself correctly there we go. turret. Alright, good first part. using the pistol. Oops. This first part.
How many grenades did they throw? Holy crap. I gotta wait for the smoke to clear. Right about that guy behind me. Okay. I want to do this first. What? Does that usually happen? <laughs> like, I, I hope that didn't cost me the run, taking the extra hit of damage, but still kind of funny. <laughs> I was hoping he like opened the door so I could just get in there and get that am uh, armor. But there's this up here, so I'm not that worried about it. Uh, wrong level. Wait, no, this is the right level. I was about to go grab Natalia. Maybe now I don't. They keep pulling wrinkle, uh, smooth brain shit like that.
Imagine not knowing those turrets are there. And waltzing into that room. Yeah, the reason I didn't want to blow those mainframes, uh, like the reason I wanted to, to do the cheese before I uh, set the mines for the mainframes is because when you blow the mainframes, which I'm sure you know this, but when you blow the mainframes, it breaks the glass and uh, that gives more of an opening for the um, enemies to shoot through. With the glass being broken, I have a little extra time. What? Wow. What? He came out real fast. All right, I gotta I gotta go. It's getting late, and I can't stay up as late as I did last night. Not even late. If I didn't have to wake up at five in the morning to go to my day job, this wouldn't be as as, as much of an issue. But I gotta go. Um, but tomorrow we're getting through control. That was close. That was really really close. Thanks, Crunchy. I appreciate it. Tomorrow at around 6.30. That's my normal 6.30 Eastern. Normal stream time. I'll be back. We'll complete control. And uh, maybe maybe a couple more. 
Maybe even beat Cradle, I don't know. But we'll see. Probably not. Cradle's freaking ridiculous. But uh, thank you guys so much again for watching. I'm just going to run a quick uh, ad break uh, at the end here. Stay for it if you like. Always appreciated, but you don't have to. No obligation. Mr. Ted, if you're still in the chat, uh, I didn't see your message about the body armor in the room. Uh, otherwise, I totally would have done that. I was so focused on trying to run around and survive. Damn, dude. If I'd gotten that... Ah, that's irritating. Oh, well. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. We'll beat it. For sure. But, uh... All right, thanks again, guys. Thanks again, guys. See you tomorrow. First try tomorrow. That's right, Crunchy. We'll see you then.